There's something special about long-range goals, and today we'll list the 20 best of them ever scored. The rules are simple. We haven't included volleys, bicycle kicks or other acrobatic goals like that, or goals from halfway that catches the keeper off his line. With that said, let's look at some screamers. First up is Nemanja Matic scoring for Chelsea against Spurs in the 2017 FA Cup semi-final. Now, Matic doesn't score that much, but when he does, they're pretty spectacular goals. Number 19 goes to Jorge Hadji against Monaco in the year 2000. Hadji was known for having a great shot on him, but to take his chances from there and leave the Monaco keeper with no chance at all just shows how good he was. In 18th, we have Steven Gerrard versus Olympiakos with the goal that really helped Liverpool in winning the Champions League in 2005. Three and a half minutes to go and he unleashed that rocket. I think the commentator says it all. Next, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, who scored this peach of a left foot shot that had an almost Roberto Carlos-like outside swerve to it. And the poor keeper had no chance. What's better than a screamer? Well, a nice bit of dribbling and a screamer. Drew Ronaldinho against Sevilla in 2003. The magician doing what he did best and then smacked the ball against the crossbar and it, easy. In 15th, we have Brazilian Josie Mar against Northern Ireland in the 1986 World Cup, with a strike so sweet that it kind of looked like he couldn't even believe what just happened himself. And speaking of Brazilians, David Luiz's goal against Fulham in 2013 shouldn't be possible. I mean, what a hit from an almost standing position. And the celebration is great too. Keep calm, thank the Lord, and carry on. Oh, and let's not forget Michael Eschen's Trevella strike against Arsenal, which had such a wicked swerve to it that the whitehead gentleman behind the goal flinched before the ball bent back towards the goal. 12th place goes to Eric Edmund against Liverpool. Bang! Now, I don't know if Yazid Dudek in goal thought the ball went over or if he just straight up gave up, but there was no way he was saving that anyway. Now, back in 1998, a young Patrick Vieira pulled this screamer out of the bag against Newcastle. It's a spectacular shot. I've got nothing more to add. But a list like this needs a bit of Pelo. Especially when it's Pelo whacking it in from God knows how far out against Palmer in 2010. And hell, even Ronaldinho was impressed. I don't know what it is with Spurs and Screamers against Liverpool, but Victor Van Yama smashed this rebound in with a shot that he probably won't be able to replicate again, ever. Next, we have an Arjen Robben classic. Cut inside to his left and pull out an utterly unstoppable shot straight into the far top corner. For us, it's one of the great long-range goals in history. For Arjen Robben, it was Wednesday. Seventh is Robin Quaison against Mainz in 2019. I think the video kind of speaks for itself. But just look at how that ball flies through the air with no spin whatsoever. Coming in sixth is Paul Pogba's strike against Udinese in 2013, which was just a lovely true hit with a lot of power. Now, I still can't take that hairstyle seriously, but the goal was phenomenal. Same thing can be said about Giovanni van Bronckhorst against Uruguay in the 2010 World Cup. In fact, it's so good that if there's ever a goal that will make watching a video with Vuvu Sailors bearable, this is it. Now, one of the first goals I thought about for this list was the goal that more or less won City the title in 2019. And Aguero might have been screaming, No, Vinny, no, on the pitch, but company took the shot and the rest, as they say, is history. Third place goes to Miguel J. Ramirez from Colo Colo against Everton in 2004, who scored this worldly. I'm just gonna let you appreciate it, because that is one for the history books. In second, I've got Cristiano Ronaldo with that strike against FC Porto, because it's got it all, the placement, the power and the range. And you know it's a good goal when FIFA create an award that your goal can be the first to win. Special. 
But the best non-volley or bicycle kick long-range goal that I've ever seen is probably Matt Phillips' goal against Crystal Palace in 2015. Because the keeper is not caught off his line, it's such a powerful shot, and it's right in the upper 90. Now, if I ever did that, I'd get a t-shirt made about it and never take it off. Worldly. And that concludes the list, guys. Now, of course, I'm sure that you'll have at least a few goals that you think we've left out. So tell me your favorite long-range goal down below, and remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on, of course, before you head out. And with that said, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.